Peter Parfit, and in the next few minutes I'm going to tell you about my latest acquisition, Festool's OF2200 Writer, and I have it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what comes with it, I'm going to tell you about the accessory kit, then you're going to see me playing with it, and then after that I'll tell you what I think of it. So let's get going. The writer comes in its own uh, sustainer here, and it comes with, in UK, three collets, an 8mm, 12mm and half inch collet. It also comes with a 30mm a guide bush, a spanner, a chip deflector and a manual and it also comes with a three year guarantee. It makes sense to buy the accessory pack at the same time that you buy the writer because you'll save a lot of money. With it you'll get the guide fence and the guide rods that go with it. You'll get a dust extraction adapter for the guide fence. You'll get the adapter so you can use the Festool guide rails with the writer. You'll get four copying rings and four base plates. It all comes in a sustainer and you have a manual. I'm going to start by giving you an overview of the ergonomics of the writer. You have a pair of soft grip handles, nicely inclined to make it comfortable to work. The writer is offset from the direction of travel by 30 degrees, which means as you push the writer along, so you are naturally keeping the guide fence pushed against the edge of the workpiece. The dust collection hose comes off from the top and it's out of the way, so it's not going to interfere with your passage along the workpiece. I'm now going to remove this guide fence so that you can see the other features. First of all, look how easy it is to remove that fence. A single control here, single knob, and we get rid of it. The plunge mechanism is very smooth and simple to lock off here. That lock locks on both of the bearing columns, meaning it's very stable when it's locked off. The base plate change is done with a single lever here, toolless, and you can then put on guide rings chip collectors and so on. That will be seen later. You'll also see how quick and easy this ratcheting uh, tool change mechanism is later. Here you have the power switch and the stay on button. You have a speed control which allows you to adjust the speed. The bigger the cutter the slower the speed. But the motor is so smooth, it's a smooth start up even when you have the biggest cutter in there, you get a constant speed. Whatever the speed setting is, the electronic control keeps that heat speed constant, making your... Right, let's look at the height mechanism. I'm going to start by doing a plunge down onto the bench surface so that the cutter is touching the surface of the bench. I'm now going to tighten up my plunge gauge and move the movable pointer down to zero. If I now want to do a 10 millimeter deep cut, I release that, move this up until my pointer is on the 10 millimeter mark, and then lock it off. Now when I do a plunge proper, I'm now going 10 millimeters below the base plate. If I wish to do a fine adjustment, take it out of the plunge, and I use this control here. The green ring is merely a scale setting mechanism and I'll set it to zero. The actual business is done here with the black knob which then moves the gauge up and down in 0.1 millimeter steps so you can make very fine adjustments. Make those adjustments and then when you plunge down now those adjustments come into effect. Right, I'm now going to show you how quick it and easy it is to change cutters, change collets and change accessories with this writer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the cutter in here which has an 8mm uh, fitting, an 8mm collet. There is a copying ring in there at the moment. I'm going to change all this out, I'm going to put in a 
half inch collet, a half inch cutter, and the chip deflector. Now let's see how long that takes. That comes the cutting ring. Next I'm going to take out the existing cutter. There it's out. Take that out. In goes the new collet. In goes the new cutter. Tighten this up. In goes the chip deflector. And back goes the base plate. And I'm done. And I don't know how long that took. Only you know because you've been watching the clock. Right, I'm now going to show you how quick and easy it is to set up the writer to use with the Festool guide rails. First thing to do is to remove the base plate and put on a special plate that is designed for the guide rails. It has a step in it which takes account of the thickness of the guide rail. Now I'll put on the two bars for the guide rails. and tighten these up using the knob at the back. I then put on the guide rail adapter. And I'm just going to loosely tighten this into position and then we'll put it onto the guide rail. Now here it is going to place and there is a a notch in this back plastic housing which takes the raised element of the guide rail and all you do is with everything loosened up you adjust it approximately to where you want it to be and then when it's close you can tighten up these two knobs and do a fine adjustment here and when it's all in the correct place do a final tighten up and then you're good to go. And that goes beautifully smoothly. Absolutely super duper. So that didn't take long, did it? Right, I'm now going to do a demonstration cut in this rather heavy lump of wood which is attached to my MFT3 using these clamps which are part of the MFT family of accessories. I'm going to turn my extractor to auto so when I start the router, so the extractor will start up. I've already set uh, my plunge uh, to the correct depth, which in this case is uh, 5 uh, millimetres. Uh, I've got the right distance in from the edge. Uh, I've locked everything off. It's all firm, and away I go. You will notice that uh, soon after I start, I'm going to drop the dust dryer down like so. So, here we go. Right, I'm going to do another cut now, this time using a rather uh, pretty cutter which is installed already and I've put the uh, chip catcher in place and I'm going to run this uh, beading cutter down the edge of this piece of hardwood. I've got my dust extractor connected, I've got my height adjusted properly and within a second or two we'll be ready to go. I've already set it down in the plunge position because it's a beading cutter, I don't want to plunge into it, so here we go. Let's take a, a very quick look at those two bits of writing that I've just done. 
That beading cutter was run down here and it's produced a very, very smooth effect and I rather like that. Then, earlier I did this trench. Now the sides are crisp and clean and the bottom of the trench is as smooth as anything. Now I used this cutter from Festool to do that. It's got replaceable and reversible blades on it, one at the bottom and one at the side, and it absolutely cuts like a dream. A lovely cut. Well, that's about it, really. But before I do my conclusions, let me just give a word of thanks to the guys at Timber Source in Froome, here in the UK, who supplied me with all of the hardwoods that I needed, both to practice and get to know the writer, but also for the various demos that you've seen, and I've got through lots of wood. So Stuart, thank you very much indeed. Now this writer is the biggest one I've ever owned, but it doesn't feel like the biggest one, and the reason for that is simple. Its ergonomics are well thought out, its motor is the most powerful one I've ever had in a writer, and this motor just keeps on going. It doesn't slow down no matter what you put in front of it. It's beautiful. Every control is where it should be. It's at your fingertips. If it's something you need to change whilst you're using a writer, you can get at it. Tool changes and accessory changes are quick and simple, and you do not need any tools to do those changes. Changing cutters is an absolute joy because of this ratchet mechanism here. No more cut fingers as you try and dice around with the spanner, changing its position all the time. That is super duper. Dust collection, brilliant. All you saw coming out when I was doing those cuts were some of the larger chips. The actual dust, the fine stuff that covers your workshop, covers your customer's house when you're doing a job there, all that is being sucked up and you don't see it anywhere. So just a few chips which are easy to sweep up. So overall, I'd say this machine is a winner. It integrates with the rest of the Festool family, the guide rail system, and also the CMS workbench concept as well. So I really like that. Now, should you get one? Well, I've got one. If you're a professional woodworker, as I am, then a tool like this is going to save you time. It's so reliable, it's so well built, so well engineered, and it's got such a superb dealer backup behind it that I wouldn't hesitate to get this. Time is money, this tool saves you a lot of time. If you're a serious amateur and you enjoy your woodwork, you're going to enjoy a tool like this. Now people say, well what about the expense? Let's put that into perspective. I have more value tied up in my writer cutters than I have with all of my writers added together. So I've got loads of money wrapped up in my cutters and therefore they deserve a decent writer to use them in. And that's what I've done. So put it into perspective. You've probably got £2,000, £3,000 worth of CDs in your house. Well, you deserve a de decent hi-fi to play it on. So that's the idea. Get a decent tool and it'll pay you back in the long run. And it's a joy to use. Thank you. Bye-bye.